In this video, I'll show you an easy way to set up WooCommerce deposits and partial payments, which will allow your customers to make a deposit or a partial payment, and then you'll be able to automatically charge the remaining amount at a specified date set by you. Let's get straight into it. So for example, I've got this sofa product for $1,500 and our customers can pay in full or they can pay a 10% deposit, which is $150. And then we'll automatically bill the remaining amount, which is $1,350 in 30 days. Again, we can customize all these variables. So maybe they need to deposit 50% upfront and then we'll charge the remaining. At the end of this video as well, I'll show you a bonus tip in how you can actually set up payment installments we're using the exact same plugin that i'll be showing you in a second right so for example with the installment option we can say again the need to do a 10 percent deposit so instead of paying the full amount in 30 days we can actually break up the payment and say they can pay us maybe four um, installments of the remaining amount right until they pay off this sum here so that's a bonus tip using the same plugin. So if you want to create a similar setup in your WooCommerce store, first step is to head over to aovopa.com. Go ahead and download the AOVOPA subscriptions plugin. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard and then we'll navigate over to AOVOP and then subscriptions. And then we'll navigate over to plans and then I'm going to create a new plan. Okay, we'll give this a name. It's just for internal purposes. So we'll just say sofa. It's just so we know exactly what it's for, right? And then when we scroll down, we can ignore these options for now. These mainly relate to when we select this subscription type, we're going to select the deposit payment type. So for the prefix, if we're going to offer various different deposit and partial payment options, right? So I'll give you a quick example. So for example, if we were to give the users multiple different partial payment options, similar to what we've got here, so they can either deposit 15% or 50% of this particular product. In that case, we'll use this frequency prefix. And then here we could say something like deposit and pay later, right? Only if they choose the deposit option, but I'm just going to give them one option for this example. And the initial payment is we'll want 10% of the total amount, and then we'll automatically bill the remaining in amount after 30 days here we can specify the number of days in which we'll build the second payment we can customize the inline text here if we pull this back up so the inline text is this message here in brackets so here it says deposit um, at 15 percent we can customize it here to, so we can use our short codes here so for example we can use a percentage short code which will dynamically display the deposit percentage or we can just remove this entirely and then we can say we can manually type something right so we can say okay so we can add more context to it this way let's remove this option if we wanted to give them a discount we've got the option here and then finally we get to choose to assign the category in which we want to add this deposit and partial payment option to so i just added this to my sofa category and then we'll just hit save changes in the future as well we'll add the option so you can limit it to a particular product tag or even to a particular product as well so that's coming up in the future this is an early prototype that i'm using but by the time you're watching this video we should have the official version released so let's go ahead and refresh our sofa page and see how that looks okay so now when we refresh this page we've got the option to either pay the full amount or we can pay the deposit payment right which is 10 percent and 10 percent of this is 150 dollars which is fine and here we just say we'll pay the remaining in 30 days i should put remaining <laughs> i should edit this message here all right and then we can go ahead and subscribe so we can customize this message here as well so we could if we head back over to our dashboard, we can navigate over to customization. And then here on the button text where it says subscribe, we can say pay deposit, for example, right? Okay. And when we refresh this page, this will update. Okay. And now that's working accordingly. So we can add this to our basket and then go ahead and check out as normal. And then in 30 days, the remaining, which is 1,350 will be automatically 
debited from whatever payment option they choose to use on the checkout option. Another bonus um, feature which isn't quite ready yet is that we'll also have the option to choose from installment payment, right? So again, the concept is very similar to the deposit payment. Here we can specify the initial amount in which they'll pay and then we, here we can break up the payment option, right? So for example, we could say they can pay 10% today and then we're going to break up the payments into maybe three payments spanning over 30 days. So every 30 days, they'll be charged whatever the amount is. Let's say the product is a thousand dollars and they have to do a 10% deposit, right? Which is a hundred dollars. Then we can break up the remaining $900, right? Into free payments, which is $300 every month, right? Until they pay off. And just like above, we can give a percentage discount off as well. So with this one plugin, we've got numerous different options in how we can allow our customers to make a deposit or a partial payment.